Gamble behind the gate and moving up for this year's Budweiser Beacon Course Final. Here they come. And uh, they're off. And there goes R.B. Caesar for the lead. Towards the inside, Ho Joe's three low. And La Chance, center of the track with Continental Victory. Around the first turn. Off stride went Kobe Prakas. Kobe Prakas on a break. But it's Continental Victory for between horses. Challenged by Kramer's boy and Moise up on the outside. Then it's R.B. Caesar in third. With Act of Grace, the outside fourth. Ho threes, Joe's low in fifth. Mr. Vic away sixth. With Lindy Lane. And it's another two and a half to Pietro Pan in three. R is victory. Quarter, 27 and four. Down the back stretch they go. And it's Kramer Boy with the lead. But now Campbell will attack with Act of Grace. And wasting little time now is Lachance. And he'll swing Continental Victory out. Then it's another two and a half to Mr. Vic in fourth. The inside, R.B. Caesar fifth. Then on the outside, it's Lindy Lane. Lindy Lane about eight lengths from the lead. Though three is Joe's low. The half, 56 and one. An act of grace. Campbell by a length and a half. La Chance, trying to give Continental Victory a little breather here, will drop in second. Then it's two to Kramer Boy third, Mr. Vic. About five lengths off the lead in fourth. The two Phillies are one, two. Act of Grace with the lead, tipping to the outside. It's Continental Victory. Three quarters and one, 24 and three. Three sixteenths to go and they're on their way home. And it's Act of Grace leading it by three parts of a length. Pressure on the outside from Continental Victory. Then it's another two and a half, and here comes Lindy Lane, trying to mow those two down in deep stretch. Act of grace, and up on the outside, Lindy Lane. Lindy Lane coming on to win it for William O'Donnell in 153. A dramatic stretch run from Lindy Lane as he comes from far out of it to win it for Hall of Famer William O'Donnell. Try $122.